Goodbye, Mum. Hi, guys, and welcome to Made by Mum. I'm Natalie, and um, a little bit of retail therapy happened. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a little bit of everything. Sorry for the crinkling and the rattling, and you're going to hear my daughter rattling with the buttons because we bought new buttons. So I'll show you those first. Let me put that back down. And magic hands. We got this huge packet of buttons for £4.99 from our local charity shop. It is Age UK, so it helps the age. So there's one big, massive... <laughs> Multicoloured hell for me, but heaven for my daughter. She loves to sort them. So there's one, arms of the daughter. We have some more buttons in here. Let's see if I can show you. Can you see all them? Look at all them buttons. And my daughter's job is to sort them. I will show you. Why is there a ring and safety pin in there? I don't know. Shush, not so loud. That's my favourite one. Look, hang on. Look at the colour of that. Isn't that beautiful? I am going to re she's going to be really noisy, I'm afraid. <laughs> so there's them buttons, my dear daughter. And she got some zips. Because she's discovered the... what a sewing machine is. I'm putting that so on the unknown. There's some zips. If she's not going to be too quiet, I'll make her come in the video too. Then you can get to see her. Right. Me. So, first bag. I went shopping in Boise's. <laughs> I loved, there was so many yarn in here. So many different yarns in here that I really desperately wanted to try. I've got some of them. Didn't get them all, but I got some of them. Right. So, here we go. Let's start. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, what have you found? That in a packet. Oh, wow, they are lovely. Let me show the camera. There you go. Look at them Shame ones. there's only two, though. It's such a big packet as well. Aren't they pretty? You'd think there'd be five. There maybe was. So there's them. Right, as you can see, I got some lovely yanny goodness. So, this is Cabaret Double Knit by Stylecraft. I don't know what it's really dark but there's blues and purples and then that will tilt you've got greens and like a goldy burnt orange a little bit of really deep red and look at the sparkle these remind me of northern lights this one is let's have a read it's called macaw isn't that gorgeous it is 98% premium acrylic, 2% polyester, uh, about 251 yards. It says to use a 4mm knitting needle, so it would be a 5mm hook. Uh, made dry clean, cool tumble dry, wash machine on 30 degree. And it also says on the bottom of this Band, ball band which I find quite funny because sometimes it isn't very easy to do it says we recommend this yarn is used from the center of the ball but there's no no center string anywhere but I'll tell you what I have found I don't really be able to see it I'm sat right under my kitchen light let me see if I can shuffle around a bit going on a little walk I'm afraid guys let's see can you see that greeny color no. Nope. There. I don't know whether you'll be able to see. Put my head out of the way. Is that going to focus? It's like a really dark teal. It's gorgeous. And this was a trusty receipt. A very long receipt. Um, cabaret. It's not that, it's not that. Ah, there we go. It was £4.50 a ball. But it's soft and it's pretty. And I've been waiting to get this for so long. I got oop, three skeins of this. Oop, up there. 
There we go. I got three skeins of this. That is really pretty. I'm going to have to rewind them because they're not very... Yeah, it was very well poured over. We'll say it that way. Right, I'm going to move this bag up here because it's my ironing board that I'm using as a little stand. So, there we go. There's them three. That's the tiny scissors. They are... Someone really wanted to wrap this. There you go. Yeah. Uh, next, we shall do this one. We've got a different one. There we go. There we go. Look at that. A very good match to my jumper. Isn't that beautiful? It looks, it looks the st is it now is it storm washed? I think it's storm washed effect. Look at that. This is Wendy Pixel. Pixel? Oh, pardon me, sorry. It's DK. Uh, 100% acrylic, 246 yards per ball, which is good. Uh, shade 308, uh, 3381, I'm afraid. There is no name, but it looks, to me, that's a very good mustard colour. It's a little bit darker than what the um, video is showing, but it's very soft. I love it. I've been wanting to try it for a little while. I got another pod over one, but as the saying goes, beggars can't be choosers. No, no, there we go. I know I've got another one in here. I got three of these, and these were. Do, 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 do. Oh, it does have a name. It's on the receipt. It's called Butternut. Wow. Oh, that's a pretty button, dear. Yes. Butternut. Doesn't that just remind you of squash? And this was, oh, cheaper than it said on the shelf. This was three pound a ball. And I got, no, no, it did say three pound on the shelf. And I got three of these ones. Ugh. My ball wind is gonna get some use. And then the other one was, one, two, three, one, two. Oh. Please let there be a name on the ball band for this one. No, there is no name on the, receipt either but I got two three of these look at that isn't that beautiful it's like it's a little bit this camera's showing it more blue but it's actually more green I have to try and get a true color of that somehow I'm not sure but that's showing it more green it's actually more blue oh I didn't read the stats for the last one I just told you what it was called <laughs> oh, by golly, gum drops. Put them two on there. Again, they're all mangled up. Let me see. The shade number is 3379. Is that the same number on there? Oh, no. So it's 3379. There is 246 yards and it is 100% acrylic. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi, spider. It's... Oh. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I just crawled up my arm and it felt weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> it says to use a... <laughs> she found a spider. <laughs> I'm so glad my daughter isn't scared of spiders. <laughs> it says four millimeter knitting needles. So that would be a five millimeter hook, which is just standard double knit size. It's... Yeah, <laughs> I can't tell you much other than that, but it's so pretty. Oh, and now my dog's decided to come and join us. Which is making my daughter giggle. Oh, all this yarn, there. goodness, look at that. So there's that. Next. Uh, now, these are the ones I've been excited to get. I have looked and I have touched and I have squished and squeezed and kneaded these for so long. Are you ready? They are called Drifter by King Curl Chunky. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Greens and greys and little bits of blues. Now, not only did the... I got three of these. <laughs> not only did the colour get me, I like the names of these yarns. This one is called Geneva. Look at Geneva. <laughs> it's so pretty. It is, let's have a look. It's 
says chunky, it says to use six millimeter knitting needles, which will be a seven mil hook. Seems a bit thin to be using a seven mil hook. I think I'd use a five or a six, but we'll see whilst we make it. Now, this surprised me with the genetic makeup <laughs> of this yarn. It is 25% cotton, 6% wool, and 69% pre premium acrylic. It's not very, there's not an awful lot here. There is only 156 meters, which is 170 yards. Email, sorry, um, 100 grams. But my gosh, is it soft? So, so soft. Sorry guys, what on earth are you tapping at, dear? Cat's office wood, no plastic, so I tap and hear the differences. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm glad she's sorting them and not me. So, yes, I got three of these, and these were... This was what? Geneva. Where is Geneva? There we are. It was £4.75 per ball, per 100 grams. That's not too bad. It's a very big splurge for me, but... Once in a lifetime and all that. So, there's Geneva. Next, oh, I absolutely adore this one. I, as soon as I saw it, I fell in love. Look at that. So grey and red and orange. Look at all that. And it looks st uh, river washed, stone washed. I'm not sure. It's so pretty. Are you ready? It's called Boston. <laughs> it's called Boston. I love it. I'll put those two there. Again, this was four seventy five a ball, and I bought three. It's Kinko Drifter Super Soft Double Knit, all the same as Geneva. Twenty five percent cotton, six percent wool, sixty nine percent premium acrylic. The only difference, this is thinner. It's saying to use a four millimeter needle. Sorry, Lou, just a sec. A four millimeter needle, which is a five mil hook. Sorry, I've just knocked the camera. And it's approximately 329 yards. So from the 170 yards to 329 yards. Wow. That's so gonna make a shawl. 329 yards, so let's say 330, 660, 990, so then round it down, 980 yards, 980 yards, that's about roughly what you get in a good, good sized kick. It's going to be a shawl. Can't wait. So yeah, I've got three of those, and again, £4.75 for those three, each. That's them ones. And then lastly out of this bag, anyway, there are three more balls of yarn. These are, oh, a different size again. So this one goes between Boston and Geneva. This one is different makeup as well. This is, 218 yards but look it's so pretty isn't that gorgeous this one is 79% premium acrylic 17% cotton and 4% wool and 218 meters no 218 yards sorry and it's called Alps as in the mountain range Alps look at those again Shawl, scarf. I think I might have the perfect pattern for that actually. I shall have to consult my pattern blog. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, this is Aaron. So this is his Aaron. It says on the front. Oop. Drifter Aaron. I'm hoping that's just showing mm. me it backwards and not you, because at the moment that looks backwards to me. King Cole. Drifter Aaron. And then. This one says, Ooh, Drifter Super Soft Double Knit. 
I really hope that's not backwards for you guys. And then this one says chunky. So unknowingly, I got one of each of the sizes that they had, <laughs> which I don't think, oh my God, what on earth is that? <laughs> it's been dipped in and then like using political illusion, oh, it looks I wonder whether they've actually had a gem in that. Maybe. Looks as though there's something inside of it. I've Hang more on. of these. Let me put them down. Basically. Put down the Alps. Ah, <laughs> strong me. I can move mountains. <laughs> so look at that. I've got another one here that's clear on one side and tinted this turquoisey blue on the other. And I'm struggling Ooh. to sort them into either white or blue. I've put them into here where I've put yeah. in like these unknown buttons that I don't know where to put. Is that where this one's going? No, this one's a silverish colour, so it can go right. in. But then again, it isn't metal. And do, yes, do, do, do. Right. Boston and the Alps. Again, that is £4.75. I did get some other stuff. What is this? Uh, two, four. I did get another six oh. balls of yarn, but I'm actually taking part of like Llama Mama Kayla's yarn swap happy mail i'm actually taking part in that so some of the other stuff i've got i can't actually show because she watches my channel <laughs> so <laughs> i'd like to say oh one second pardon child excited. you're excited what are you excited for tomorrow probably Going you're excited game. for tomorrow i'm recording buddy do you want to just head back that way for five minutes and i'll come see you when i'm done is that okay <laughs> Go on then, off your top. Good lad. All the other Sorry, guys. <laughs> Child. Yeah, um, where did I get to? Oh, yes, I was going to say hello to Hi. Blue Heart Crochet. Hello. <laughs> um, if you haven't been over and seen her, please pop over to her channel. She, fantastic woman, absolutely great. Doesn't live too far from myself. We're actually both in the UK. Um, yeah, she's only, had a, she's only got a few videos up, but... What I've watched is really, really good. She's a fantastic lady. Please head over to Blue Blue Heart Crochet. I'll put a link in the description below and go over and say hello. Made by Mum sent us. <laughs> so there's that. So that's the yarn from that bag. And I've got, oh, I got some mad jumbo wool. Oh, so I've bit of the colour there. So this is the So Crafty. We all know I like so crafty yarn from Aldi, but I didn't get it from Aldi. I'll tell you where I got it from in a moment, and I'll tell you the price I paid for it, because the price it normally sells for, I didn't pay for that. Okay. Um, it is chunky yarn, which can you actually not guess? Look how thick that is. That's pretty. It looks like an owl. Oh, look at that, guys. That's going to be sorted into blue. Look at that. Oh no, the door's been opened. No, we can't see. There's too much light. Sorry, my man. <laughs> oh, my dog's outside. Look at that. I, don't, I really hope you can see that. It's so pretty. And as my daughter said, it looks like an owl. Isn't that gorgeous? A little bit of a shine on that. There we go. That's gorgeous. That's so going to go on my cowl. Oh. What do you reckon, Sorry, guys? Wants to come in. There you go, baby. You does that work or is that button too dark for that yarn? Seems a bit dark. <laughs> Advice from my daughter. I think it's because she wants the button. Let's give it back. There you go. I can close it to my <laughs> You can close it, Lindsay. I'm an idiot. Dogs and children. <laughs> right, Pebble. back to the yarn. This is called Raspberry. Is that not such a bright pink? I'm not taking that outside. Let's have a look. It is 400 grams. My dog has decided to bring his teddy to me. <laughs> Go lay down, Pooch. Uh, it no, is it's all sloppy. Shh. Noisy. You won't believe. What time is it? It's half past eight at night and I've got noisy children. It is 235 metres. I'm sorry, it doesn't have yards and I am absolutely kaput at trying to convert. I'm really sorry. It oh. says to use 10 millimetre knitting needles, so that would be an 11 Did millimetre hook, which I've actually got one now, so oh, I might just go have a play, I but I do it? also have a 10 millimetre as well, so I'll have to give that a try. 
do we oh it's a hundred percent acrylic wash dark colors separately keep away from fire i think that's a bit of a given um do not tumble dry do not bleach do not iron hmm <laughs> uh, wash on a 30 degree wash and it says a pattern included on reverse of label now normally they are knitting patterns so let me see if i can see it i'll tell you whether it's a knitting or a crochet but usually they are a knitting pattern that's how to make it up I think I broke the button. Uh, oh. Yes. It it, sorry, that was really hard to see. <laughs> it is a knitting pattern on the inside of there. So, I got two today, which, new fashion accessory. <laughs> so, oh dear, what happened there? I don't know. It can come out. It's not supposed to be yeah, in because there. It's two different buttons. It seems... It yeah. just fits so perfectly. It just snaps. Yeah, it just got caught in there. It's not supposed yeah. to be in there. Right. Bizarre. But then, quiet, I'm recording. <laughs> so, got two of those today, but I did actually buy one last week. So, I've got three raspberry. Big blanket. That's all I can say. And then the other colour I got is this one. It is chunky yarn also. Oh. Okay, yeah. oh okay. Let's see if it's the same and see if I can mix them. It's 235 metres approximately, 100% acrylic, size 10 knitting needles, 11 hook. Oh. Exactly the same. This one is platinum. Look at that. I don't know, it has like um, a pinky purpley sheen to silver, if that makes any sense whatsoever because I'm sure it really did but I'm sure all my Yanni friends know a pinky purpley silvery colour we all know what that is yeah it, it's platinum <laughs> so oh that's pretty that's I've got gold. one today and <laughs> one last week so I have got in total three here plus another two at 400 yards that's a lot no not 400 yards, 400 grams is 235 metres. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I've got well over 1,000 metres. Blanket, that's all. <laughs> Blanket, really? Right, so these three yarn. Oh, I got one other thing from the. Where well, I got this yarn from. Can you pass me that pot, please? Oh, uh, yes. Yes that pot there the mini volcano i also got this lovely jar full of yellow and orange buttons they are a mix every size that you can imagine other than really huge ones i think that's about as big as it gets and oh i'm strong enough Oh my, look how jam-packed that is. There's the top of the jar, and look at that. You can see them over the top. Wow, this is really full. Let's see if that button's any bigger than that one. No, that one's bigger. So that's about the size of the biggest button, which I think is fantastic, because you can get some really thick yarn through there. That looks great. My dog's huffing and puffing again. That means he's been getting up to no good in the living room, throwing things about and playing, little monkey. So yeah, that's about as big as they get. But as I was looking at this jar earlier today, after we bought it, I found, let me see if I can refind it and see if I can get to it. Oh, yes. To I'm hoping I can get to it. Just bear with me a second, guys. Because it is actually quite near the top. I found this button. How cute is that? <laughs> Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. I just want to make a little cardigan and just stick that in the middle. Just there. <laughs> Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? So there's that. And I can't actually remember how much I got charged for those buttons. <laughs> but I can remember how much these were. 
These were one pound each. One pound for this ball. One pound for this ball. One pound for this ball. Oh, I do remember. Two pound for the whole jar. Five pound for all of this. My gosh. <laughs> Can you say bargain? I tell you, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Because the woman I got these from has actually only just opened a sugar lumps. Has actually only just opened a shop. Yeah. And it's in what we call market vaults. Um, if you've ever been to Scarborough, I'm sure you might have heard of the market vaults. And I went in there today with my daughter and Hi. we saw my friend and I purchased some stuff and found out that she does rent a shelf. So some of the wonderful stuff that I'm going to make out of all this gorgeous yarn, I'm going to rent a shelf so I can sell it and get more yarn. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you've got another tub sweetie I will so there's the yarny part of it um my daughter has got into sewing and making oh. bags and so i decided i will go and buy her some more fabric and i says right your choice off your pop go find some it and she did of course we got some no it's not on delay what's it called um, bear with me, I shall remember in a second. Interface, interface in. There we go. Um, so yeah, in this, let me put that one back in there. In this lovely bag, with the exception of this lovely yarn, this is full of fabric <laughs> and it's very heavy. So I shall show you the one piece of fabric I picked up for myself and I am going to plead and beg my daughter to make me a little bag because she started sewing some um, project. Do you know my words today? They just keep going. Bye, boys. Project bags. So I got, I found this. Look, at, I know it looks, it got the Christmassy look, but... I love it. I am desperate for a project bag. You like big Or two, because there's quite a, lot, quite a lot here. Let me see. You like big buttons. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> I'd say hands. we've got... Uh, a meat oh, no, width ish I'm stealing the interface for a minute so I can get to my brown buttons. Half a meter, a little bit more. It's a bloody good size. Let's say that, shall we? Let's have a look. Uh, 115 centimeters. So over a meter wide. Wow. It doesn't want letting out, it's just been a pain in the backside. So there is that. I oh turn it the right way. Let's fold it the right way, shall we? I adore that bag, that material, isn't it gorgeous? I love it. So there's that one. So that one's mine. <laughs> the rest are all my daughters. Hi. But first, I think she wants to show the bags that she's made. Are you showing? Might as well. Yeah. Right, let's just do a little bit of shuffling and then she can Probably come. Put my glasses back on. <laughs> it might be a good idea. So Turn you around this way a little bit. Or try. Sorry for the shuffling about, guys. Oh, do excuse my kitchen. You can see my cupboard sewing machine and yarn. Right, so here comes my daughter. Hi. This. Oh, I'm looking Ooh, stuff. it's okay. This is my daughter Sarah, and you can't see her head. I'm Scoot down a bit. No. <laughs> No. Let's see if we can go up a little bit. Ah, she doesn't want to. No. <laughs> right. I have got a headless daughter. <laughs> right. I shall be your stand. Which one are we starting with? Start with the first one you made. Okay. So I made this one first. It's kind of small because of it like being a first tester sort of thing. But all of these are drawstring bags. So I'm going to be making zips later on. Oh, attempt. You're going to try attempt. and do the zips. Yeah. 
Are you going to mention about the bottom of the bag? Oh yeah, all the bags apart from one have these box bottoms and basically you fold it over and box bottom. Gives the bag a bit more support when it comes to setting uh, up. She's done the box bottom. My child. One minute. The drawstring okay, and back. lined it. I'm back. Bearing in mind this was the first time she'd ever followed well, it wasn't a pattern, was it? Who did? No, it was we, a video. It was like a half an hour video. You followed a video, and it was oh, it was Debbie. It was the Canadian crotcheter, Debbie. My daughter followed your bag pattern, and she had she's hooked. She's making loads of them. So there's that one. Ha the ha! You bottom. got me in stitches. Oh dear, the bad jokes come out now. So let's pop <laughs> this on this side. So then, which one did you make next? I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was that one. So this one has like more of a, I don't know, like a jungle feel with that and then the gold lining on the inside. Once again, this has a box bottom and this time it has like this turquoisey kind of cord. Yeah, it's like a, a bright blue. It's a, <laughs> the colour on the screen's not quite true. It's very no. difficult to find. And the inside's silk. It's it is, yes, soft. it's very silk and soft, silky and soft. And yeah. this one's actually quite a little bit bigger. I think, oh, what happened there? Yeah, that's what I was on about. This one oh. it has broken and will need to be sewn back together. But right, I think that's through um, stuffing all your bags yeah. in one bag. Hence me transferring <laughs> onto another one. So, yeah, that's another... First attempt, well, oh. the second attempt. What take too much but to that fix was it. the second attempt, but first attempt with only a little bit of guidance from myself. That was all her, so there's that one. My little boy stood here and he needs to go to bed. You can't sleep. I'm sure you'll try if you're actually in Breed. your bed, Jacob. Mm. I'm sure you could sleep if you're actually in your bed. Off you go, Squidge. <laughs> <laughs> he likes watching me record, bless him. <laughs> Go to bed, you can watch me record the next time. Okay. Bag of Wish children. Okay. <laughs> right, there's your next one. Feels like a curtain. The end. <laughs> <laughs> it does. The material I used is quite stiff and coarse, and it looks like someone drank their coffee while trying to cut this, because there's a massive stain on it, and I have no, no idea. No, I think that's just the colouring of it, isn't I it? I don't know, because it's... Sure. Well, it is repeated on the others, yeah. but it's such a weird choice. Yeah. Because it, it's not on anything else. It's just those white flowers. I must admit that pattern is actually for curtains. It was just a swatch. <laughs> <laughs> it was handed to a charity shop, so I got it. <laughs> and then the inside's grey and suits it a bit better. And then this brownish grey cord that we used. Okay. That needs to be cut down. And then this one's probably my most complex. This is the only one I didn't do a box bottom on. And I'm going to have to move back. <laughs> That's it sideways. Would you like me to hold it up like that? Yeah, for you, that dear? might help. There so it has five buttons stitched on going from the darkest to lightest with this like picnic blanket kind of pattern and a red string to accompany it. And it's actually got some uh, like padding, padding, padding on the inside. It. It's quite a thick, the outside, sturdy bag. The outside was actually used from an old pillow, so it's like really puffy and soft. If I put like other bags in this, turn it around, I could easily sleep on it because the other side doesn't have any buttons on it. <laughs> yeah, I have you turn tried it into that. a pillow. I have tried that. It was very comfortable. <laughs> A little lumpy, but comfortable. Oh, dear me. Right, so, pillows. there's my daughter and her bags that she has made and the, is now toddling back to do the, the buttons. The only one I didn't <laughs> show is one that I transformed to a pencil case. It's like that, yeah, sideways. Yeah, it, it's, it's a good size, but you can show that next time. Yeah. Go on, then. Goodbye, off to rattling. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you're on the move again. <laughs> oh, a bit more rattling, I do apologise. Oh, I found a key. It's... Kind of stuck to a button, but I found a key. Let's have a wow, I don't think it's actually. Oh, it's a really pretty button. Oh, look at that. Oh, I really hope you can see that, guys. The line is good. This is look sticky lining. That. It's sticky lining. It's not sticky lining. Oh, oh, no, it's interfacing. It's how it's supposed to be. Weird. And then attached. The key. Is a key. We must go around everywhere to try and find the key. Looks like an old diary key to me. Does that? Oh, we'll never find it if it's a diary key. Mm. There you go, dear. I can go in the bits and bobs right. along with the pin. Right. The only other thing that... Right, I'm going to finish this. Oh, I didn't tell you how much this fabric was. This fabric cost me £2.30. 
and it's quite a stiff sturdy fabric too the only other thing that came from boys's was this one look how cute is that i love the color it's very spring-like colors i picked it it is a 55 centimeter width i don't know the depth but it was only one pound 32. wow i love that that You're is welcome. gorgeous but that's not mine that is my daughter's so the uh, the rest of this all came from the market vault so we went underneath which was where we got uh, a bag of buttons and some zips and lots and lots of fabric so Ooh, we got this nice. yellow oh a little washed out it is a sunshine yellow a bright sunshine yellow it is amazing it's a very sturdy material uh the woman we where we got this had said they use this for the toddy yorkshire flags that they used to make up and there's a fair amount there a pound a pound my gosh and then this one three meters here and it cost me a pound for three meters of like a burlap type green i think i might have to go back because there's a lot more material on that table so there's that one and we got some blue but it's got two bits attached <laughs> um again i don't know the size or anything it's well that's the width of it <laughs> if you can see and again a pound each one of these bundles of fabric was a pound i could have spent the day and i could have just got one of everything <laughs> they had some gorgeous pattern stuff but it was my daughter's choice today I've got like a blue that matches the, the green it's a, it's a bit brighter on this screen than what it actually is and again, a pound with free string. <laughs> so there's that one. And then this one, I absolutely, it's really flimsy, but isn't that pretty? And again, that was a pound. There's got to be at least a meter, maybe even two, because it's rolled, it's not folded. It's so silky and gorgeous. That could make a lovely bag. I'm sure it's going to. Right, we have got one more left in here, so I'm going to put the bag down. This last one is going to remind you of your grandma's curtains, I think, because it does. It does me. Look at this. I can make Let me take this off. Hands. You can <laughs> make what? Oh dear, what are you doing, dear? Putting flowers on my hands. You're putting flowers on your hands. By stemming it with this oh, metal thing we found. Ow. There's a God, there's a meter there and that's it folded in half. But look, does that not remind, <laughs> remind you of grandma's curtains? <laughs> I think it's fantastic, I love it. Actually matches the material I've got in my cupboard. <laughs> so yeah, there's that, it's beautiful. Do you know, this middle bit, if it was on a dark blue background, my mum and dad had a, used to have a pair of floor cushions. They were cute. They were a metre across and a metre down and a metre back across. They were massive and they, were, they had this pattern all over them. But it was a really dark navy blue background. But it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to see what, she, what my daughter makes with all this. It's going to be fantastic. Right, where did my elastic band get put? Because these were mm -hmm. all done with, a, well, mostly done with elastic bands, apart from the green one that's got tape. But they actually were kind and told me how much was in there, so that's not too bad. So, there's the fabric at a pound a piece, apart from the ones that we got from Boise's, which were a little bit more. Two, three, Ooh. four, five. So, we got six different bundles with a minimum of a meter 
and we've got one bundle with three meters in fact the minimum could be two a meter and a half two meters that's lovely mm. so a pound a bundle you can't go wrong it was a bargain so that was my i got some other stuff but again i can't show it because <laughs> That would just ruin surprises that were meant to be kept secret. There's so that was my craft haul. There's a star. You could... Oh dear, what you found? A star. A star. Okay. Tip it. Oh, you haven't got the big bit. <laughs> Am I showing the star real quickly? If you want to. Star. There's a leaf. Oh, there's an apple. Oh, leaf. she's found lots of. Oh wow, things. there's a star. Oh my goodness. And a heart and a... There's and another. Star. We have got. Oh, and then a star in the buttons. There's another one. We have got, oh. There's a flower. Ah. Look at the spade. That's so cute. Another flower, that's cute. There's one, flowers. And there's a heart. And hats. There's even, oh. ooh, if I can hold it. Another star. A leaf. Very autumnal. I wonder if there's any more colours. <laughs> wow. Right guys, this video has got so long and I do apologise, but I wanted to show all my stuff. Is that a bird? Possibly. <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> and I shall see you the next time. It is. Keep crafting, have fun, and keep your magic wands waving. It's a bird. Bye.